My guest today is Christos Matskos. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. That was perfect. All right, where yes. are you from? I'm from Greece. Oh, we have a beautiful name. Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> what do you do for a living? I am the new product marketing manager for uh, Visual Studio for Mac. Visual Studio for Mac, uh, okay. The mobile and gaming dev tools uh, uh -huh. within our uh, company. Excellent. Now, Visual Studio, I've used many, many times. I've only used Visual Studio for Mac a couple of times. So okay. what's, um, is, there, is that the same thing as the Visual Studio I'm used to, Visual Studio I'm used to on Windows? It's the same uh, Visual Studio family, uh -huh. uh, but we have uh, different workloads on a Mac because mm -hmm. obviously we kind of support the Windows workloads, right? Okay. So anything that has to do with .NET Core and mobile, games devel and mobile development and games development, you can do on a Visual Studio for Mac. So oh, okay. anything about cross-platform, right? If I'm doing so, like WPF, for example, would not be supported. In it wouldn't be supported because it relies on native uh, Windows APIs to work, right? Okay. You know what I have used? Well, uh, it's been a few years, but I used uh, Xamarin Studio. Yes. And I think that's pretty similar to Visual Studio for Mac, isn't it? So that's what we started with, right? So when we acquired Xamarin uh, mm -hmm. two years ago, then we brought all our tooling and uh, IP. Okay. And Visual Studio. Um, for Mac is what Xamarin Studio used to be. I see. But ever since, we worked on adding workloads and support for new things like uh, .NET Core. Got it, so it's not, now it's not just for building Xamarin solutions. Now you can build uh, whatever, Correct. anything that's uh, supported on Mac. And we also support uh, things like serverless. So Azure Functions, oh. we can uh, develop, debug, and then actually deploy to uh, Azure directly from your Visual Studio for Mac. All right, well, so what kind of solutions are people using Visual Studio for Mac for mostly? Uh, I would say mostly these days, uh, ASP.NET Core and .NET Core workloads mm -hmm. and Xamarin because these are the two biggest workloads that we see. Mm -hmm. But we have a lot of developers that work on games with uh, mm -hmm. Unity. Okay. And that's our default ID for uh, Unity games developers. Okay, so in Unity, uh, there's a, there's a, it has its own ID. Correct. It's, more, it's a very graphical yes. interface. Is that, do we still use that along with Visual Studio for Mac or, or is it just to replace that? We have uh, deep integration with both Visual Studio and Visual Studio for Mac with the Unity uh, ID. And our goal there is to provide uh, any scripting experience that people need to do okay. out of the box with uh, Visual Studio. Okay, so let me make sure I understand this workflow that if I'm building a game in Unity, mm -hmm. I've got this nice graphical interface, I'm building my scenes and adding textures Correct. and whatever that Unity's really good at. Yes. But then there's that part that I want to write some custom code. Exactly. And Unity has a little editor, but it's very limited. Yes. The user would shell out then to yeah. VS for Mac? Yeah, uh, I mean, you can debug your games inside Visual Studio. So you can debug too, okay. Yeah, you can uh, kick off your games inside the Unity, mm -hmm. and then when you need to debug your C Sharp scripts, it will default to your Visual Studio. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yes. Are there things that Visual Studio for Mac can do that Visual Studio for Windows cannot? Uh, right now, I would say that Visual Studio can do more because they have uh, more breadth. Yeah. And, uh, Obviously, they it's been around a lot longer. Yes, but you can do uh, iOS development. You can do actually. actually oh, so uh, native, you can write Swift code inside. Uh, of no, but you can but do Xamarin Watch code. OS. Uh, so you can do Apple Watch, uh, Watch applications. You can do uh, Apple TV applications. Oh wow! Yeah, and uh, anything that .NET Core. So you, if you're actually developing libraries, mm -hmm. you can use Net Standard inside VS uh, for Mac to do that. Hmm, okay. So you could share that. You could develop code and share it between the two versions. Correct. Yes. So uh, I, there's a lot of people using. Xamarin inside of Visual yes. Studio for Mac, and then what's what's going on there? Well, first of all, not many people use, uh, not as many people use uh, Xamarin uh, tools for Visual Studio, right? Because what we want to do is, in my in my mind, every .NET developer should be a mobile developer. Okay. You take your skills that you currently have, and you can use them to write uh, mobile apps, right? So for en enterprises, for uh, people that want to do a pet project and deploy an app to their phone. Mm -hmm. It's the perfect solution. You don't have to bring new skills or do anything else. And Xamarin is there to do that for you. Xamarin is a great tool set, I agree. Yes, it is. And then we have Xamarin Forms on top of that, which simplifies things even more. Like for people that have been with uh, the .NET ecosystem for a while and they've played with WinForms and WebForms, mm -hmm. then Xamarin Forms provides you with the same experience. An abstraction on top of the native tooling to allow you to quickly get up and running and we have lots of customers using that on a day-by-day -day basis. If I remember correctly, Xamarin Forms is really a graphical designer it for is. building your forms, as opposed Correct. to before it was around, you had to you had to write some code in order to design yes. your forms, right? So you, okay. when, when you say, I want a text box and I want a button, you only get one control to work with, Okay. but when you render that on the native app, it okay. looks like exactly as the native uh, controls. Okay, we had that before before Xamarin Forms, I think, but it was you had to do it in code, is that yes. correct? Yes. Got it, okay. Yeah. Um, all right, uh, and um, now, uh, what about sharing code between Windows and Mac? Can I develop a solution on one platform yep. and then open it up in Visual Studio on the other platform? Uh, yeah, so uh, if you open your solution inside uh, Visual Studio for Mac mm -hmm. and it contains a UWB project, you won't okay. be able to edit that, but you can edit all your shared code. 
and oh. by pushing as much to your uh, shared components, mm -hmm. like you can have your Zambal views now inside your shared components, you can drive the code reusability and shareability up to 90%. So mm -hmm. it becomes a very thin layer of UI uh, tweaks that you need to do to get everything to run across uh, both platforms. You can have people working across different operating systems and IDs on the same solution. Oh, wow. Uh, and then now, because we uh, DWP, for example, supports .NET Core, it means that you can do even more uh, inside VS for Mac, so you don't have mm. to go from one machine to another. Oh, I see. Uh, how about uh, the debugging experience? That's one of the things I really like about Visual Studio, is its yeah. ability to debug. Is that... it, is, it is an ID, right? And we, yeah. we use Roslyn in the same manner as um, Visual Studio. Okay. And that, that's what distinguishes us from Visual Studio Code, where code is more of a text editor with yep. uh, extensions. Yes. So you get full ID support when you use VS for Mac. Oh, that's an interesting thing. Does, does Visual Studio for Mac support extensions? We do have some extensions, but we don't have the same extensions are the, as the Visual Studio for Windows ecosystem. Okay. And that can be a limitation for some people when it comes to using the product. Mm -hmm. But we are working on uh, bringing more features into the product as we go forward. How about the refactoring tools and the IntelliSense that our Visual Studio is kind of famous for? Right? It like is, yeah. Is that, is that into, built into Visual Studio for Mac? What I like here is that we decouple quite a few things into Roslyn, and then Roslyn mm -hmm. now is the one responsible for providing that kind of uh, intelligence when okay. it comes to your code. And that same um, Roslyn, which is .NET, uh, it's cross-platform, yes. actually works inside VS for Oh, Microsoft. so the fact that we now have Roslyn as our compiler makes yeah. made it easier to implement that. Exactly, yes. Okay, well that was pretty uh, far-sighted of us to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, was the plan. And then uh, the other thing I really like about, uh, I'm going for my Visual Studio for Windows experience, but one thing I really like is the deployment story. Sure. I mean, I can, uh, I, well, I got two pieces to that. One is I can just right click and deploy right away, which is nice, yep. but also I have source control integration built into it. Are those things available in Visual Studio for Windows? Absolutely. So we do support local deployment, mm -hmm. and, but we also support deployment to Azure. If you okay. want to take your web app and push it directly there, okay. uh, or your backend services for your Xamarin app, to Azure, like if you have a function, for example, you can deploy directly to Azure, then bring up your uh, mobile app and test mm -hmm. it locally. And finally, we support Git version and TFEC. We have an extension for TFEC right now, mm -hmm. out of the box. All right. And then the, the last thing that I really like about Visual Studio is it's free. There's actually yes. a free, I mean, in fact, a really good free version as of the last couple yep. of years. Yep. Is that true? What's the cost for Visual we, Studio for Mac? We adopted the exact same model. Okay. So we have a community edition. And that's that the free one. Yeah as a Visual Studio, and mm -hmm. then we have a Pro and uh, Enterprise licenses, okay. which are the same exactly as your Visual Studio. So if you're a Visual Studio developer in Windows, mm -hmm. you can actually go on your Mac and then log in with the same credentials, we'll pull down the license, and then you don't have to do anything. Very cool. Is there anything we haven't talked about that we should have? Uh, I think we covered everything, uh, all the workloads that we have, and all the cool stuff that we're working on. So Awesome. We're Christos, good. thank you very much. I would shake your hand, but I'm holding this camera right here. Appreciate you. Later. Thank you. Uh, I hope everyone is enjoying Ignite. Uh, it's great to be here with uh, a lot of friends and um, we're learning a lot about uh, the new technologies that are coming out from Microsoft and the community. So uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you.